All right, today we're talking voodoo bands, baby. This is what they look like, right? It's a really long band. It's elastic, real thin. We're called voodoo floss bands or just floss bands. You can look them up and get them on Amazon, super cheap, usually like two for like 20 bucks. Might be a little bit more now, I don't know. But you do this for your wrist, you can do it on any joint, you can do it on sore muscles, and you'll feel immediate relief right away. You do this over the long term, you'll heal way faster. So the only price you gotta pay is you gotta listen to me talk about science for a minute. So what we're trying to do, let's say you, uh, like you just had a, a sprain in your wrist. There's gonna be the inflammation process that comes in and that's actually a good thing, it just hurts a lot. So there's some damage to a ligament and ligaments don't get a lot of blood flow. So anyway, some blood flow does come in, inflammation happens, put pressure on the nerves, it's gonna cause pain. So what we wanna do is we wanna squeeze that inflammation out. That's gonna allow new blood flow to come in. New blood flow is bringing all those nutrients, it's gonna fix that, and then we repeat that process over and over and over again. Now the, process, the, the downside is inflammation is too big to travel through the veins, so it needs to travel through the lymphatic system to be flushed out. And that's a mechanical system, so it needs to be squeezed all the way out. So when we're talking about our wrist, uh, if you're in some of the later stages, which it sounds like you might be in, you can still do the same thing. Because ultimately, blood flow is the answer to recovery pretty much all the time. You always wanna do as much as you possibly can on whatever thing that's injured, not to injure it more, but as much as you can to get as much blood flow as possible. So also what you're doing, they call this molecular biophysics, is if your wrist is sprained, you want to move it in the direction of that sprain. Not so much that you're gonna damage it further, but just enough that you're telling those tissues to say, hey, listen, you need to work in this direction. This is how you work. Then the body's like, okay, let's lay down more tissue in that direction. Where if you don't do anything, especially with muscles, you get them all kind of mangled up, that's like it's scar tissue, but if you just move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, it's gonna heal way faster. What's the downside? It hurts, all right? This shit's gonna hurt. But you'll feel way better immediately afterwards, and you can do this as many times per day as you want, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. You gotta do it tight, tight, tight. So I'm gonna grab like this, right? If you're doing it yourself, it's a little bit easier if someone else do it, but I'll show you by myself. We're gonna squeeze here, we're gonna make it real tight, come up across the back of my hand like this. I'm a little bit sweaty, so a lot of bit sweaty, so it might be tough. Come make it real tight. I'm gonna cross it over my wrist like this. So I'm basically just wrapping up towards my elbow, basically as tight as I possibly can handle. Really, 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 really tight. So look at the difference in my hands here. It's really squeezing down there. I'm gonna wrap it up one more time, real high, and then I'm gonna start to come back down. I'm gonna cross the wrist like that, cross it again, and then I'm gonna come right over the middle, and usually these last couple kind of hurt a lot. And then I'm gonna wrap it around light, and you can just kind of slide it through, like so, oh shit. So this is what it looks like. Right? I can barely open my hands up. That's how tight it is, right? Uh, God. So what it's doing is cutting off the, the blood flow to my hands, right? Really, really tight. So don't leave this on for longer than two minutes. Two minutes max, 90 seconds is good. And if you really want to, it's gonna be a little bit painful, but you can start to move your wrist just a little bit at a time. Uh, this really, really hurts. It's okay though move in either direction. Now, if it's like excruciating pain, then don't push through that. But anyway, we're going back and forth and let's fast forward. Let's pretend that was two minutes. Now I'm gonna take this off and you're gonna feel this rush of blood flow into the hand, into the wrist and right away you're gonna feel immediate relief. Now, it doesn't mean it's immediately fixed. You're just gonna feel a lot of relief. So you could do this all throughout the day. The more you do it, the better. But this, this is what they do in high level sports because minor sprains, even major things, like it's just not an option. If you're a professional athlete, your job is to perform every single day. You cannot be injured. Obviously that stuff happens. So the goal is we need to get you back as soon as humanly possible. So the coaches and the PTs at that level, they got skin in the game. They say, listen, my job is on the line. I need to get this done. And this is the stuff that they're doing. Downside, it hurts. But I believe in you, you can do it. Order these, oh no, order these, let me know how it goes and I promise you get some very quick relief.